Don O'Brien, Sermon of the Lord with Dawn's Heartfelt Corner. You know, I, I wasn't planning on doing a video. I haven't been on here for about uh, four days, actually. Um, you know, I'm going to let you know, hey, I'm just like you, saints. You know, I have those days just like you. You know, I've been upset. Yes, I've been very upset. <laughs> I won't say I've not been. I, You know, I don't understand everything God's doing. You know, His ways are not our ways. And we have to trust God even when we don't understand. You know, um, tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Uh, you know, so I wanted to, to come on here and share with you a word uh, that God spoke to my heart. He's also spoken some personal things to me that I'm not going to share right now. I don't want anyone to think more highly of me than they ought, you know, because like Paul, you know, you know, so I don't want anyone to be, I don't want to act proud and arrogant because God knows my heart. I'm humble. And, um, but I want to share a word with you because, um, and we're going to, I'm going to talk a little bit here and then we're going to stop this video. I'm going to save it and I'm going to talk to you. Um, just keep reiterating what's going on now with the um, fires and they're getting ready to have rain and landslides. We're going to talk about that in a moment. But um, since we're getting ready to have Thanksgiving, um, I want to share a little bit with you about that. You know, and I've been a little discouraged with that because I'm going to share with you, you know, maybe some of you don't have family members, you know. Daniel and I do, but we're, we're still not able to go over and see his family. Daniel is almost healed, praise the Lord. Um, we don't understand, and we've spent a lot of holidays by ourselves. You know, so it's kind of discouraging, you know. And so I've been upset with God because you know, I'm like, God, why are you doing this? What are you doing, you know? And um, I told you before, I, um, when we used to live in the other apartment, how... We used to go up to the nursing home, 
and uh, we volunteer for Thanksgiving and Christmas and I give, you know, write poems and give out little gifts, you know, and we visit the people in the nursing home and, and I'll never forget this one lady. Um, she was, she, I, I said to her, so you got family coming to visit you and she started crying and said, no, she don't. And I said, that's why God has us coming to visit you because she had no family. So, I, you know, maybe I'm talking to some of you and you feel like you're so alone and that you don't have any family. Once you know you're not alone, God is there with you. He, you know, when he's your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, he's everything. He's your closest friend. So when you feel like you're all alone, you're not alone. I'm here to to tell you you're not alone you know so I have felt that many of times you know and especially you know because I do have a prophetic gift and um, you know and I, I give a strong message and a lot of people don't want to hear that type of message even in the body of Christ they don't want to hear the truth but they want to hear uh, words that tickle their ears they want to hear lukewarm messages and that's what we're seeing in the churches today you know so but God is getting ready to do something new in, in our churches and in our nation and in the world. We're getting ready to see God move in a mighty way. Uh, I want to share some stuff with you on Thanksgiving, you know. And, um, you know, this time of year is always special to me. And what are you thankful for, you know? There's a lot for us to be thankful for, you know. God has been good to America. We have food. We have water. We have clothing. You have jobs. I mean, God has been good, saints. Our freedoms we have here in America, you know, other countries don't have what you and I have that you and I take for granted that we don't realize what we have until it's all taken away from. You know, I hold this time special because, you know, I woke up, for those that don't know, in 2000, I was in a very dangerous car accident, brain surgery on the right side of my brain. And I remember being in the hospital around this time period, around Thanksgiving. And so I hold it, you know, it's really special to me because, you know, I'm thankful to be alive. You know, I'm here for a reason. You're here for a reason. We're all here for a reason, you know. And so um, I'm going to share a poem with you in just a minute. But I should have been dead. I had brain surgery. They shaved all the right side of my hair. I was unconscious. I was in bed. I was in the hospital for about four weeks. And um, the doctors gave my husband no good news. They kept telling her. If she lived, she'd be a vegetable. But I can remember everything. God is good. He's so good to me. In fact, I'm, I'm getting better daily. I can see it because, you know, since I've been on this intermittent fasting, I've been doing that for over a year now. And I've lost a lot of weight. I've lost almost 40 pounds, actually. And so my husband says, your balance is better. And, you know, in the gym now, I can do my own aerobics. And I said, God, you're awesome. My balance is getting better. You know, I'm not back all the way uh, but you know God is good you know I'm like this for a reason to be a testimony and the Lord told me that years ago he said you're like this to be a testimony you know and Daniel is his headaches are almost gone his um you know he's upset because he can't go see his family and you know he's got teeth work that needs to be done get get to the dentist but I told him what God told me earlier said your teeth will not wear out just like remember there's right their shoes do not wear out so God knows he sees everything his ways are not our ways we have to trust God and know that he knows what he's doing and we just have to place him saying I want to read you this word from Jesus always for today let's see what is today I mean we're almost at the end of this month the 21st. Can you believe this thing? This year is almost over. All right. Um, it says here, when you are thankful, you worship me acceptably with reverence and awe. Thanksgiving is not just a holiday celebration once a year. It's an attitude of the heart that produces joy. So you were to be thankful all year round, not one day at of the year. It's also a biblical command. You cannot worship me acceptably with an ungrateful heart. You may go through the, emo the motions, but your ingratitude will hold you back. Whenever you're struggling spiritually or emotionally, pause and check your thankfulness gouge. If the reading is low, ask me to help you increase your level of gratefulness. Search for reasons to thank me. Jot them down if you like. 
Your perspective will gradually shift from focusing on all that is wrong to rejoicing in things that are right. You know, we're all like that. We complain and we murmur, you know, but we in America, you know, we're not thankful. And, uh, you know, that's dangerous. We need to start thanking God for all the things he's given us each day, you know, life itself, you know, to be alive, to breathe, and just to be alive. God is good to us. No matter what is happening, it says, you can be joyful in God your Savior. Because of my finished work on the cross, you have a glorious future that is guaranteed forever. See, Jesus is our hope. We have hope. You know, as the world grows dark and dim, you know, people think they don't have a hope. But Jesus is our hope. He's given us our hope. Rejoice in this free gift of salvation for you, for all you who trust in me as Savior. Let your heart overflow with thankfulness, and I will fill you with my joy. Amen. All right, now I'm going to read you a few scriptures that we're to be thankful. You know, it's not just for Thanksgiving. First Thessalonians 5.18, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Ephesians 5.20, giving thanks always and for everything to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Psalm 50.14, offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving and perform your vows to the Most High. See, we're to offer thanksgiving whether it's good or bad. You know, whatever we're going through in life, we're to offer God uh, thanksgiving. Colossians 3.15, and let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts to which indeed you are called in our body and be thankful. Hebrews 13.15, through him let us continue to offer up a sacrifice of praise to God that is the fruit of lips to acknowledge his name. Psalm 104, enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. See, we're to bless his name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. 2 Corinthians 2, 14, but thanks be to God, who in Christ always leads us in triumphal procession and through us spreads the fragrance of knowledge of him everywhere. All right. Lamentations 3.23, I love this. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Amen. Philippians 4, 6, don't be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God. All right. Colossians 4.2, continue steadfastly in prayer, being watchful in it with thanksgiving. First Chronicles 16.8, oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name, make known his deeds among the peoples. See, we see it all in scriptures. You know, I love it in the Psalms, Psalms 95, 1 through 3. Oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of your of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise and with songs of praise. For the Lord is great God and a great king above all gods. I can go on and on and, and just tell you all these scriptures. Psalm 100, 103, 2. Bless the Lord of my soul and forget not all his benefits. You know, God has been good to us, saints. There, there is something you we can thank God for. You know, maybe you feel like you have nothing. Well, there, we all have something we can stop and thank God for. You know, God always shows us some of that has worse problems than what we have. So that we can praise God and thank Him. God has been good to each and every one of us. Now, I'm not going to read all these scriptures. There are too many, but they're all through the Bible. Now, um, here's my car accident poem I want to read you. You know, this, I told you, I, I woke up around Thanksgiving. May my car accident testimony touch your heart to tell you about God's faithfulness and how it never parts. I'm a miracle in disguise. Amen. God is good. When others look at me, they can barely believe their eyes. They shave the right side of my hair. I was bald and bare. It has grown out. It's all there. I had brain surgery, physical therapy, and occupational too. It was not easy, but I made it through. Um, people say, wow, look at you. I'm glad to be alive and share my testimony with you to try and stop you from drinking, driving, and hurting others too. Watch what you do. If you don't think it will happen to you, don't drink and drive. You may end up dead and not alive. Now I want to share this, this poem. I mean, not this poem. I'm sorry. This prayer for Thanksgiving. I'm just going to read it to you. I think I wrote this last year, but it still stands for this year. I want to read it. A prayer for Thanksgiving. Dear Lord, we, your children, want to stop what we are doing and offer a sacrifice of praise, not just this Thanksgiving, but every single day. 
Father, we pray for the nation of America. That's right. Let's pray. We're praying for America. President Donald Trump, the Trump administration, the military, police force, state, local authorities, and all those who, who have called who are called over us that we are to honor and respect. See, we're to respect that president. Whether or not you like him or not, we're to respect, honor, and pray for him. We pray for a hedge of protection over our nation and that we would turn our hearts back to you, O Lord. Keep America safe from its enemies, we pray. We also pray for Israel. We want God to protect and watch over Israel. Forgive us, O Lord, for the many sins we have committed in our nation. Send forth a mighty revival in Jesus' name. We have so much to thank you for. We have more than enough. You freely give us our jobs, food, clothes on our back, clean water and air, the roofs over our heads, our freedoms here in America. We have so much to thank God for. Keep us healthy, strong, never are we lacking, but always having abundance and meeting our daily necessities. May we never forget all that you have done for us, for when we do, you will take it all away from us. Although we don't understand everything you are doing in our lives, dear God, we choose to praise you. That's right. We choose to praise you. And thank you, dear Lord, for all the blessings you have bestowed upon us daily, even when things do not go the way we have planned. Father, you are gracious and merciful to us, and we have so much to be thankful for. Help us not to grumble or complain, I pray. Your ways, O oh Lord, are not like ours. You, Lord, do have a plan, and we, your children, continue to wait patiently. O oh, Holy Father, help us to continue in faith, not become discouraged or want to give up. That's my prayer, that we continue to press on. I know that you have planned, what you have planned is coming, and it will not be one second late. Encourage my brothers and sisters in the Lord. Your precious Holy Spirit is our comforter in times of need. You give us strength to persevere and fight the good fight of faith. That is why Daniel and I press on for the high calling in Christ. Let us be that encouragement you have placed in us today, I pray. I ask all this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. All right, say so now I'm going to stop this video. I'm going to come back and I'm going to share. We're going to talk about what God said to me because he keeps telling me over and over. So we are about to see something. I know without a shadow of doubt it's coming, saints. So we've got to keep our eyes open widely and pay attention to what is happening. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save this video because uh, they'll probably put a strike on, on Facebook. They always, not strike, but they put a thing where they'll block it. So I'll put it up again so you can hear. But I'll be back in just a minute to speak to you about the word that God gave me. All right, see you soon.